probably do this all wrong. I am not a professional, okay? Let's remember what I looked like in the beginning. Yeah, let's run the clip back real quick. I was looking crazy here. Wow. And then we just look nice and tamed and put together. They came out so fire and it took no time for me to do that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hey y'all, so the first thing we're gonna do is tackle this hair because I look absolutely crazy. I just took out my quick weave that I had and okay, so all the bundles is right here. Today I am going to do a slick back pony and we're gonna reuse, reduce, and recycle. FYI, please disregard this fat ass pimple on my forehead, y'all. It's giving antler. I'm about to use some random ass products today because I don't have everything that I usually use and I'm not going to the beauty supply, okay? I'm going to try my best to slick my hair down with this coily custard because this is the only thing that I have that resembles gel. I'm going to be using this hairspray to like help hold my hair and don't buy this. This shit don't do nothing for you but it's all I got. And this for sure will help me mow my hair. The style factor. This is going to show help me mow my hair but it make your hair real shiny so I don't want to use too much. I'm probably going to use it on the perimeter of my hair. And then I got to protect my braid of my real hair with these little wrap sheets because I'm gonna be good on it. So we will get right into it. So real quick, I just put two sections in the front of my hair so I could pull all my hair in the back. Back to see where I want my pony to sit at. And all you gotta do is put your hand up on your tail without any product and then get your brush and get whatever styling gel you're using and mold your hair while it's in a ponytail it makes it 10 times easier but you guys i want to talk to y'all about why i like doing these maintenance vlogs at home first off i think it's always important to keep yourself up i embody the phrase when you look good you feel good when you feel good you do good when you do good you manifest more good into your life period that's something that i live by if i can show you guys how to do something at home to the point where you don't gotta spend hella coins you can save your money you don't gotta worry about these irritating people that's in service. Let's keep it a buck. Because a lot of people that do hair, do nails, they don't have good customer service. And you don't always want to be in somebody's face in an appointment just because you want to look good. So, yeah, basically, all I do is take a little bit of hair at a time, slick it back, put all the products in it, and then I do the same with the next portion. But I make sure to do it portion by portion because if you try to mow all your hair into a ponytail at once, baby, you're going to have a hard time. And actually, this combination with my hair texture is kind of working right now, especially because my hair was already stretched out. Okay, so now I finally got all my fucking hair in a ponytail. I have to pull out my edges. And the edges is what makes the pony give so i like to pull out a lot of edges like it don't even be giving edges it be giving grown hairs but that's how i like my ponytails to be and i'm not really laying them right now i'm just trying to see what they're gonna look like but yeah y'all can definitely as i'm showing y'all in this video y'all can use any products that's gonna slick your hair back well enough and you could do a pony, and a pony won't take you from looking mid to looking like a little baddie real quick, real fast, easy in a hurry. Like, now it's time to put the hair in a braid. And I got a lump in my ponytail too, but hopefully I can fix that. It's right, Ugh, it's right there. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and braid her up, secure her with a rubber band and a bat, and then I'm gonna proceed to wrap my ponytail with these little strips i don't even know how people usually do this but i'm going to tuck this in my band right just so it can hold while i wrap it and then i'm gonna proceed to wrap it Well, I guess I'm going to stop it right there because <laughs> it ripped on me. But that's fine. I made it to the end. If I end up getting a little glue on my hair, it's okay because 
All you gotta do to check it out is to put water on your hair. And I'm definitely washing my hair after this stuff anyway. So this is what the little pony is. <laughs> it's kidding, okay? And now I'm just going to simply take, I'm about to pick out the longest bundles from when I did my quick weave. So this part of the process is super easy. Literally take your weave, take some glue. Some people put glue on the ponytail. I just feel like that's gonna drip down probably. So I'm probably gonna like, maybe apply a little bit of glue and then, you know, attach it, wrap it around, blow dry it, brush the hair out so it don't get, you know, tangled on you and you keep okay so all of the hair has been installed on the pony i think it's giving a good amount in terms of thickness now we have to do the base of the hair girl why i saw somebody on tiktok use this glue to secure the base of their hair i'm too scared to do that um and i don't have any gas me free spray but i do have some even lace bond so i think that's what i'm going to use to do my base so first things first you got to take some hair from the back of the pony to secure your base this is really what just tops the pony off and you want to make sure you have a good amount of hair and then I also like to, once I got the hair and I comb it, I kind of use my thumb and my fingers to like spread the hair out if that makes sense, just a little bit. All right, I'm going to go ahead and spray the base with some of the lace bond blow dry. And like when you get to the end, you kind of kind of like, you kind of have to tuck it with like something like this and then i just do my edges all willy-nilly like i never do my edges the same exact way i just brush them to try to get them to look cute and one thing i had to stop doing y'all because i kind of got into it i fell into the whole flat around your edges thing baby stop it sir it's here to tell you don't do that stuff i'm going to secure everything with my scarf but first i'm gonna spray this back here really all over but that's where it needs the most help and that's just like added security and i always like to leave my edges out but i hold them down at the base because that's where they tend to lift up at but i'm about to like quickly go through the hair with like one or two passes and i'm gonna give it a curl at the end because these ends looking a look a little raggedy y'all know if i get quiet i mean i'm really focusing and i hope i'm in frame sorry y'all but basically just trying to do a cute little curl just towards the ends because i feel like it's gonna give it a look <clears throat> Okay, y'all, so it's been a little while later. Looks cute. I think the pony is definitely giving, definitely doing exactly what it needs to be doing. So let's remember what I looked like in the beginning. Yeah, let's run the clip back real quick. I was looking crazy here. Wow. And then we just look nice and tamed and put together. And it didn't take nothing but to do a pony. Like love that for me so now i'm going to get into doing my nails um it's really a simple process and i'm not going to show you guys the entire i just for you because i have a video already on this so yeah i'm doing joe x nails today the real easy and quick way yeah, i decided to do my nails at home a lot more this year because first off i can't even tell you the last time i got my nails done in like an actual salon I'll get pedicures, but I couldn't tell you the last time I got my nails done. And after I do the uh, nail prep dehydrator, I go in with this um, nail extended glue gel. But I'm going to paint my nails first with like a really thin layer of this. And then I'm going to cure them because it just helps the, um, 
the like i think it's called soft tips yeah it just helps the soft tips stay on even better so i'm going to um put the same exact glue on these soft tips and if you don't know what a soft tip looks like it looks like this this is the nail that i'll be applying and it's just like really soft like you could bend it and maneuver it and stuff and um this glue gel better than any glue i've ever used in my life okay see i get a little tip on my hand and now i'm just talking with my hands her the length that we got i'm gonna take my file my file is my best friend i'm going to file the tops and i'm gonna shape my nail so this is the before and i'm gonna come back when it's time for the after because it's common sense okay this is what they look like after i went ahead and shaped them i like my nails to be like sharp like i could probably cut your leg okay now i'm going to wash them up and i'm gonna go in with a black gel polish with a top coat because i like my stuff to look real glossy i don't even have time to do a bottom coat a base coat i don't even feel like it okay okay you guys so nails are done i'm actually being really lazy because why do they look this good without a top coat like I didn't put no top coat on them and they are shining thank you for much. i know that's right this gel polish is like really good it came in a set because i was trying to do some chrome stuff the chrome was whack but the polishes are really good it has a black one and a white one so yeah this is the final look and they're so stinking cute like don't they look so professional and neat and clean and simple hey if you guys want these um products they are all on my amazon storefront in the description box below if you use the link i'll get a lower commission just letting you know <laughs> but these are some really good products like i love them like they came out so fire and it took a little time for me to do them but yeah i'm probably gonna leave out do me a little um shopping because i'm going somewhere this weekend i don't got nothing to wear babes and then when we come back later on like right after i get off the shower i'm gonna do me some waxing okay y'all so we're back i just got back in the house we went shopping and then how they settle on white girls <laughs> i mean white chicks but i'm wine drunk thank you very much sipping on some rosé and that's exactly what i need to be right now wine drunk because i i'm about to wax myself this is a part of the maintenance video i have not been to european wax center in god knows how long this is my wax kit i have an entire waxing video the very first time i ever waxed myself i recorded it and put it on youtube girl if you don't know it takes quite some time for wax to soften up this is hard wax and I got this kit off of Amazon, so hopefully editing Jatera will remember to add this to her Amazon storefront so you guys can shop the direct link. So this is what the kit looks like. Y'all see the bees inside? And then it comes with pre and post sprays. Two different sizes for the wax stick. So I'm excited. I don't have much hair under my arms for a fruit because i don't like to let them get hairy um but i do got some hair on my girly so we gotta get it together okay we got some johnson's and johnson's right here baby i don't play. i'm about to go ahead and spray my underarm with the pre-spray try my best to put the powder on without getting it all over the place and then I'm going to go ahead and prepare my first pull. So I just put the um, popsicle stick in the wax and I spin it to make sure I'm catching all the strings that it produces. And I'm allowing it to like cool down a little bit because it should be hot. And I have definitely burned myself a thousand times before. And then, okay, it's not too hot, but it's hot enough because it's sticking. So that's good. That's what we want. Did y'all just see that? How it came up? I don't think that was supposed to happen. I probably 
can do this all wrong. I am not a professional, okay? But I like to flick it up and then just pull it up. Whew, that kind of had a sting to it. I didn't go cap. It picked up them hairs, though. Yes, man. We're going to go in again. Oh, this one was hot that I just did. Okay, so tell me in the comments down below if y'all can relate to this. I have been getting Brazilian waxes for a good minute now, right? And when I first went, I remember the very first time I went because I filmed it. <laughs> I'm always filming. I was like, oh my God, I'm experiencing so much anxiety right now. Um, I'm allowing this strange to see my cootie cat and my booty hoe. And I feel some type of way about it. Like, I just got a lot of anxiety before entering the room, before entering the building. I was experiencing anxiety to the point where like I was about to sweat and I don't never sweat like I don't perspire a lot you know like perspiration I don't experience that on the regular so I was real confused like why am I this nervous right now like it's just a regular service like these people do this for a living like why the fuck would I be scared like I know this I'm very smart so I was confused as to why I was so nervous and y'all the nervousness never went away. Regardless of how many times I go, regardless of how many times I go to the same person, because I would like pick a person and keep the person, I would just always be nervous. I will get the nervous shits. Like, <laughs> I'm being real honest with y'all right now. I would get like bubble guts, like, because I'm so nervous. And that's crazy because. Y'all, one time I thought I had the bubble gut so bad, I went home, went home, didn't even have to do anything. Because one thing about me, turn on poop in public places. I just don't. I can't. Yeah, I would get nervous. And I didn't appreciate that. Like, the fuck, I don't feel like being nervous every single time I want to go get something waxed. Like, and the only thing I would go to get waxed was my cootie hat. So, mm-mm. I just stopped y'all because it should never make me nervous that much. I didn't appreciate that. I look so stinking smooth. So I'm going to try to wipe away most of the powder. And then I'm going to spray some after spray. Mm, I love the after spray. It feels so good. So, this is my before. Not too bad, but you see some hairs. And this is the after. It's super easy to do, especially if you do it at home. You don't even have to go to European Wax Center and make you an appointment or like good stuff. You can do it right at home. So, y'all get the memo. I'm about to do my girly. Same process. I do the same exact steps. Um, and then if you are doing waxing to help with hyperpigmentation, you should always exfoliate like two days prior. I want to do the day before, especially if you got sensitive skin like me, because you know, you don't want to move too fast. But yeah, y'all, that wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to shop my Amazon storefront. It's always linked in the description box below if you want to use any of the products that I use in today's video. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, mamas. Uh, yeah, yeah.